Hello everyone, it's Usman. Welcome back to Bars and Books. And today I am doing a challenge with the help of Chloe. Hi! Um, this will be the Know Your Bookshelf challenge. Or maybe not, maybe it's called something else. I don't know. It's a, it's a challenge that I picked up from one of my favorite booktubers. Um, that is Alan from the Library of Alexandria. So I decided to try it. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, if you have not checked out Library of Alexandria, you should definitely check him out. I don't think I'm in any position to be promoting <laughs> his content, but but yeah, check it out if you wish to do so. All 20 of you lovely people. Okay, so for this challenge, Chloe is going to be picking out eight books from my bookshelf back there. Now, I'm a little I'm at a bit of a disadvantage because I haven't really looked a lot at the books on my shelf. They've been sitting there for quite some time and I have yet to read many of them. But I'm not gonna give myself any sort of handicap because I'm hardcore that way. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, so she's gonna pick out eight books. I am going to be blindfolded and have to guess from her describing me the cover of the book, I will have to guess the title and the author. I get two points for the title, one point for the author. We'll do 70% as a pass, so that would be what, 18 out of 24, or yeah, something like that, 18, 17, something like that. Yeah, so I got my blindfold right here. Um, Chloe is going to go pick out the books, and I think she has a special punishment for me if I fail this, which we can talk about later. Anyways, you can go, wait, let me get this on. Uh, I got the nice panda eyes or whatever this is. I should probably have put my earplugs in first, huh? Noise cancelling, which is good. Okay, so you can go ahead and pick out eight books now, Chloe, from wherever. Don't be afraid to get in the back there, you know. Okay. Make them all like kind of diverse, like different from each other, not all kind of the same books. <laughs> Dude. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Beast Wars. <laughs> I'm done. You're done? Yes. You know I can barely hear you, right? So you got the books? Yeah. All right. Let's go one by one now. Get one, show it to the camera. Okay, now go ahead, sit down, and describe to me the cover of this book. It looks like a red orange dragon. A red orange dragon? Yeah. Okay. Looks like it's attacking another green bluish dragon. Okay. And then there's a human pointing to the greenish bluish dragon uh okay that's all can you like give me some other details the background the colors uh the backgrounds like like the canyon mountains okay that thing. yeah and the reddish dragons like flying uh-huh and then the bluish dragon's like staring at the human. Okay. Looks like it's about to eat him. <laughs> okay. And then the human and the bluish dragon are on this like small cliff platform. Ah, I have no clue. Shoot, don't tell me, okay? Unle until I tell you to tell and me. And the guy has a red cape. A red cape. Okay. Ah. Uh, um, dragons. Okay, dragons. Um, two dragons. A greenish bluish and a reddish orange. Oh, and the orange mm -hmm. one has really spiky, like, spikes on his back and, like, up here. Okay, what about the bluish green one? The bluish green one has ones that go this way. I don't, I can't see what you're doing. Go to the front, to the back. Okay. And then the reddish orange one just goes up. But okay. the ones on the bluish greenish is back. It's uh -huh. all like small. Uh -huh. But the reddish um, orangish one, it's like long and spiky. And wh what's the human doing again? 
He's like holding his hand out to the reddish dragon and pointing out the bluish green one. <laughs> oh man. The uh, bluish reddish dragon has red eyes and then the reddish orange one has orange eyes. Oh, and both of them kind of have a little bit of yellow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what's even on my shelf. Shoot, I should have looked at these books beforehand. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to throw a wild guess out here. Is it The Prince of Shadows by Kurt Benjamin? Nope. No. <sighs> What is it? Into the Labyrinth. Yeah. Into the Labyrinth by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Okay, fail. On to the next one. I don't even remember that cover. <laughs> so that's book seven in the Death Gate cycle. Right? Or no, no, no. That's like... No, that's like one of the later books. One of the middle books, maybe. Okay, I think... Alright, what's next? Show it to the camera. And... Go ahead and explain. There's this really pretty girl on it. Okay. And there's white feathers all around her. Okay. Uh, swans, cranes, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know this one. This is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. Got it. Sweet. I'm reading The Dragon's Promise right now. That's... Thanks for making that one easy for me. I appreciate it, Chloe. Okay. <laughs> you are such a gem. I love you. Okay. All right. Next book. I hate this one. Okay. This one, it has like a blade. A blade. With like, it's cutting through a map and then there's blood all over it. I hold on, hold on. A blade cutting through a map and there's blood all over it. Okay. And oh. on the very top right corner, uh -huh. there's like these golden coins. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I should know this. A blade cutting through a map and there's blood all over it? It looks like blood, yeah, it's red. And it's, cut, it's like going... Like okay, are there colors? Like what um, color is the blade or the map? The blade's like silver, the map's mm -hmm. like... I mean, the, I don't think the map... But the cover of the book is like blue. But I think that the... Oh, you just gave it away for me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that is Traitor's Blade by Sebastian de Castell, right? Yes. Yes. The cover is blue. Oh my god. It's like one of the only blue books I have. Thank goodness. Okay. I may not have to do that challenge after all, or that punishment. What's next? Okay. Show the camera and then... This is book... Four, right? Um, yeah, the fourth book. Yeah. Okay. So, it's it's like this wolf uh -huh. howling up. Okay. That has really pretty details on his body. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I know this one. And yeah. Okay, I'm doing good here. I'm gonna go out on a wild guess. This is okay. I gotta get the. T I gotta get it right. <sighs> Which order is it? The Tiger and the Wolf by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Yeah. Is it the Tiger and the Wolf, not the Wolf and the Tiger? It's the Tiger and the Wolf. Yes. Okay, I don't know how I'm doing this well. This is you're really good at describing things. Yeah. I, yes, very good. Good job, Chloe. Keep going. Okay, let me show it to the camera. Okay, so there is this castle. As soon as you said that it's a, it's got really pretty designs on the wolf, I knew exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. That is a nice cover. Um, there is like this block castle. <laughs> a block castle, okay. Like it's not pointy, it's just like a square. Okay. And then... There's these knights on, I don't, no, I don't think they're knights. There's these people on horses fighting, I think, fighting each other. Okay. The horses are white. Okay. And right now it looks like it's nighttime. There's lights inside the block castle, you can, and there's smoke coming out. 
Okay. And then you see the the people and the horses fighting in front of it. I don't know if they're fighting or not. The castle's in like the background or Yeah. Okay. And you said it's nighttime? It's nighttime and the moon shining. Okay. I have an idea I have an idea of which series this is, but oh, I don't know which book at all. No, because I think I know which series it is and I have read most of the books in that series. All the horses are white? Yeah. But some of them have and how many how many people on horses are there? Uh four. Only four total on the whole whole cover? Yeah. So what is like two fighting two or what? Uh no, I think they're just like fighting. Like what do you all mean? Of them together. All fighting each other? And there's a block castle burning in the background. Not burning, but there's like smoke, smoke coming out of it. I don't know if it's fire or if it's light. So. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. This is either the Wheel of Time or the Rift War series by Raymond D. Feist. Um, I'm trying to think of the Wheel of Time covers right now. No, it can't be the Wheel of Time. Okay. Um, yeah, it might also be the the Kurt Benjamin trilogy I have there. Shoot. Um, um, so it's nighttime. What's like the color of the nighttime? Is it like a, is it like a bluish kind of dark? No, it's like like a bluish, dark bluish mixed with light purple. Dark bluish mixed with light purple. Like okay. on the right side of the book, it's like dark, and then mm -hmm. closer to the moon, it's like lighter. Mm. And it's shining. It's sh the moon is shining. Okay, okay, okay. I think this is fighting. this is the Prince of Shadows by Kurt Benjamin, right? Nope. <sighs> <sighs> what is it? Dark Walker on Moonshade. Dark Walker on Moonshade. <laughs> what? Let me, let me see that book, please. Oh. Am I facing the camera? Yeah. All right. Oh my god, I just, I can't remember how that cover looks, even though I've read that recently. Yeah, I remember you really liked it. Yeah, it is good, yeah. Okay, next. Okay, this is book number five or six or, I don't know. Six. This is book number six? Yeah. Oh shoot, okay. I don't even know if I've failed already. You probably have. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's, let's move on. Yeah, show the book and... Uh... So, for like the weather, there's like thunder, mm -hmm. but it's like only at the very, very top. And then it's dark where the thunder is. And then when you go a little bit lower, it's like a sunset kind of thing. Where the thunder is, there's like this snowy or a mountain. And then when you go lower, there's like some stairs and four pillars in the background. Stairs and four pillars in the background, okay. And then there's this like brick stone thing with these, it looks like ancient letterings or symbols. Okay, where? On the stone or brick that's like at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. And then there's... Th oh, <laughs> I know this one. Is there a guy on it plunging a sword into an altar? Yeah. This is Triumph of the Dark Sword by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Book three in the Dark Sword trilogy, which I just read recently. Are you trying to make me win this challenge? No. <laughs> I just do whatever, I just get whatever book's easy for me to explain. <laughs> I see. All right, let's do it. Book number seven. Go ahead, show the camera and describe away. So there's this woman okay. with hair flowing in the air. Mm-hmm. Classic. <laughs> and then she has a, like a dress cape. It's a cape. And then it's f like flowing in front of her. And mm -hmm. it looks like she just got down like stairs. Like she's at the very bottom of the stairs. Okay. And she looks like one of those fortune teller people. 
Okay. And then behind her, there is like this, the, like it looks like an open door with a person. Mm hmm. Like a person staring at her. Okay. And then for the walls of like the place they're in, it looks like they're, it, it, you can't tell. They're just like walls and stairs. The walls are like blue and have these golden, hmm. Golden, I don't know what they are, like golden pieces on the walls. Okay. Like the really royal kind of thing. Okay. Oh, like tapestries or something? Uh, you don't know what that is. Never mind. And then at the very, like, edges of the book, mm -hmm. there's, like, these gold, like, vine things. Uh, the majestic woman has, like, really big earrings. And she has like the top, the the like a head thing here, like Maleficent, but without the horns. And then she has what? like the the okay. thing. Okay, okay, like a like a hood. No, it's like a hat, like what Maleficent has, but without the horns. Doesn't she just have horns? I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I don't remember what she looks like. Okay, 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 okay. And then the person in the back's wearing like. A green dress with a pink top. Person on the back is wearing a green dress with a pink top. And then beside the woman is like a square pillar with one more of those golden things. What? Golden okay, pink. so there's this lady with flowing hair and like a cape and and some maleficent thing on her head. She's at the bottom of stairs. Yeah, and she has ginormous earrings. Huge earrings. Um, and there's another person watching her or something, you yeah, said? Yeah, from behind. Like, it looks like he just opened the door, like, because the door, it looks like yellow, like, lights coming. Are they shadows. Are they in a, a room or a hall, or? It's like a stairway, like, because the, the stairs are not, like, steep. They're, like, like almost even. Uh-huh. So it's just, like, a hallway where the stairs are. Okay, 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 okay. Let me think. Let me think. This sounds old school. This sounds like an old school book. So I'm going to narrow it down to that. Um, oh, okay. Um, this could be some dudes creeping on her from the top of the stairs. Yeah, and then there's like gold vines with things like elves, fairies. On the edges of the book. Um, the back and front. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and disregard Wheel of Time. Um, this sounds like it could be um, that Raymond E. Feist trilogy, Daughter of the Empire kind of thing. I'm not saying Prince of Shadows anymore by Kurt Benjamin. That book has screwed me over twice, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I, I, don't, th I don't think didn't that's... Think it was? Okay, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna say it. The Prince of Shadows by Kurt Benjamin. Nope. <sighs> you see, when you asked me, what did you think it was? I thought that was the answer. I thought you had just mistakenly gave me the answer. And I was hoping I was r right, but I was kind of hoping I wasn't right, because I wanted to stay honest. But I was still kind of hoping I was right, and it turns out I wasn't right, and now that book has screwed me over for the third time. What book is this? The Wise Woman by George MacDonald. Oh my god. The Wise Woman. I would have never gotten this one, okay? This is one I picked up recently, and it's like a tiny book. Like. <laughs> Fail! Okay, go ahead and show it to the camera, and then lay it on me. A person is using their thumb, and they look like they're about to knock down dominoes. Are there like a bunch of dominoes set up? Yeah. Using their thumb? Thumb. Actually, sorry, not thumb. Um, what do you call that? Index no. finger. Knock down dominoes? Are you sure they're dominoes? Yeah. And what does this person look like? No, it just shows his finger. Oh, so it's just a finger 
that's about to knock down dominoes. Yeah. And that's all you see is a finger and dominoes. Mm -hmm. What? What what are the colors here? Is there Are the dominoes the the dots are like white and then the base is like black. What? I have a book with dominoes on the cover? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think dominoes. I, I have no clue which book I have that has dominoes on the cover. Oh my god, I might actually give up on this one. I, <laughs> I can't think of a book that has dominoes. <sighs> okay, you know, whatever. Is it The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu? Nope. What is it? The Book Thief. The Book Thief! <laughs> this is the one book... <sighs> this is a book that Sultan gave me that I wouldn't... That I have no interest in reading, and I don't even I don't even remember looking at the cover. I would have never gotten this. The book Wanna thief. See it? I don't I can remember kind of what it I don't care about the book oh, thief. Computer. It's a tie. Is it actually? I don't I wasn't even counting the points. Do you know what they are? Okay. Wait, that's a fail, because I was supposed to get 70% to pass. Punishment! Oh, uh, Congratulations, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna read these punishments from her iPad, and then we'll spin the wheel, I'll do it on camera, and pick one. Wear a silly hat slash wig in two videos. Okay. Do a hundred push-ups before next video. I guess so I'm out of breath while I'm <laughs> reviewing or whatever? Yeah. Compliment Chloe three times in next five videos. Okay, Ooh, that's yeah. not actually, that's not bad at all. Okay. Hopefully I get that one. <laughs> Read two fairy unicorn books with vlog. Those are one of my books. I really hope I don't get that. <laughs> Share an embarrassing story on booktube. Oh gosh. That would be cool. Nope. Listen yep. to Chloe's music playlist for 10 minutes. Oh gosh. The, those, that's pretty bad. Um, Excuse me. Okay, let's spin this on camera. I just press it right to spin. No. No! Fairy Unicorn oh. Book Vlog! Okay, fine. You know what? This was the Know Your Bookshelf Challenge or something like that. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!